Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. <laughs> So you guys know what that meme means. Once again, we have another story concerning the Pissy Pied Piper, okay? So what's going down with the Pissy Pied Piper is this. If you guys do not know, this weekend a huge fight video, actually the full fight video, went viral all over social media concerning Joyce Lynn and um, Asriel Clary basically coming to blows in the hallway and convenient. And conveniently enough, there was an entire camera crew there filming and the footage was sent to TMZ. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the whole backstory and what's going on. And there's a few sources that have contacted me to give me the real tea, okay? So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. We about to go ahead and get into some shit. I'm just going to show you guys a small snippet. I can't post a full video just because of the censorship here. But y'all watch this small snippet. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So, of course, everybody went crazy this weekend. A lot of folks were trying to figure out what was going on. Asriel Cleary went back to her father's house. And basically, her and her father, um, they were on live stream. And she's back home and supposedly doing well. She said that there's more to come. Joycelyn was able to meet up with her parents at the jail. She did not go back home to her parents' house. But they seem to be in a better space, okay? I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these two live streams. Y'all go ahead and check this. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And I said, my family, we have all been affected by this. Jocelyn, Jalen, even my little one, Jory. My wife. I wanted to do something that my daughter is a breakthrough for her. When you don't have no one to call on in a time of need, you have someone that you can call on 24 hours a day. And that's Jesus Christ. Because he the one died for our sin. You never heard me say it publicly because of my daughter. And I respected the shit I had to respect. But you hear from me now. Fuck R. Kelly. That's fact. And that motherfucker will deal, get dealt with, with everything he got coming to him. And that ain't by me. That's by law. That gig up. So when it all come out, Make sure I'm flooded with them apologies. And I'm out. Peace. All this, that shit need to, need to turn the fuck down. Because some of the shit is a bunch of lies that people just putting shit out. Just to be the first one to say something. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. But people need to really, really be, be mindful that my daughter have a life. And whatever direction she choose to do, she doing because of whatever traumatizing situation she been through. So if y'all... All right, so you guys just saw those two live streams. And then on top of that, R. Kelly's former crisis manager, Daryl Johnson, is now buddy-buddy with Michael Avenatti. I'll bring you an attorney. So with me, I was a fan of all this guy took chicken and he managed to make a little bit of chicken salad. <laughs> so it's just been a lot of just crazy mess going on with this situation. But I wanted to hold back until I could find out some more tea, okay? So then all of a sudden, somebody sent me a video of Asriel Cleary basically doing a documentary style interview with some girl named Latoya. So this is what I'm hearing from the back end, okay? This is what's happening on the back end. Um, I have a connect in the situation. I'm keeping her completely anonymous. Um, but basically what she's saying is that she's very close to the situation. LaToya was set up by Azriel Clary and by um, a man named Shabazz. They're all doing this documentary 
basically to come up off of this R. Kelly situation. They're saying that Asriel and the father, they're all behind this, okay? This is all alleged, but I really believe with all the information that this woman is giving me that there's a lot of truth to this. So I want to play you guys this clip of Asriel and this woman named Latoya talking. Y'all go ahead and check this out. That's crazy that he knows your number by heart. He called for me. That's the only reason why I'm here. Nicole linked up with me. That's why I'm here. Other than that, for the past 10 years, I've been to myself. I've been running my business. I've been doing the shit that I had to do. I have not been involved with any of this shit. <sighs> Fucked up. Did you ever sign anything? I'm sure you did. <laughs> I have a bank account in his name. Really? Yeah. It's SunTrust. SunTrust is his bank. He loves SunTrust. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole account in his name. And I hold his money that I can't even touch. It's like at least four million dollars in that bitch. I can't mm -hmm. even touch it. And you're telling me everything is okay. Years later, everything's okay. I need you to do this. I need you to say this. You had Nicole reach out to me. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So when somebody sent me that clip, I was confused because from what I've known of LaToya, she's been team R. Kelly from day one. Now, like I've told you guys in past videos, a lot of team R. Kelly members do fuck with me. Even though they know I don't fool with the pissy pied piper and I hold him accountable for his actions, I also am fair and I call out the bullshit. And I've been calling out the bullshit and the lies and the deception with all this mess from day one, okay? So that's why a lot of them still rock with me even though they know I'm not a fan of damn R. Kelly okay so what I was told is that basically this was a setup Toy agreed to participate in the documentary but it was supposed to be a positive documentary you know basically um basically exposing all the lies from surviving R. Kelly 1 and 2. They were going to show R. Kelly in a better light, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what this anonymous source told me. So she says, okay, so basically what happened was LaToya agreed to participate in the documentary with Shabazz per one of R. Kelly's attorneys. She was on a flight on her way to Chicago when all this mess went down with Az and Joycelyn. She also believes they were really trying to set her up to fight Az and catch it on film. But anyways, as we all know, that's when Azriel turned on Kells. Word is he stopped the money. So when she met up with everyone, she hugged Azriel and she felt a wire. By the end of the conversation, she tried to drag Az across the table and whoop that ass, but they left that out. This documentary was supposed to be was supposed to be in Kells' favor, but Shabazz just wants money. He said he couldn't stand working with Azriel because she's bipolar and schizophrenic. So then I said, Oh wow, who is Shabazz? And then she replies back and she says, Shabazz is the nickname. He's producing the documentary. And then she told me to post these screenshots from Azriel's old Twitter account. She's been plotting and scheming for a long time. And then she wrote this on her page. She says, Azriel just posted this last week. So in that tweet, Azriel says, Hollywood next, baby. What homeless person gets an entire condo in their name at Trump Towers, a Birkin bag that costs more than you'll ever see in your entire lifetime, and so much more. Baby, stop it. I've never been an employee. We were in a relationship. You sound like you wish you had my place. Be bitter, baby. Keep being bitter. You working in my favor. So that is what Asriel said just last week. And then they found old um, Twitter messages from like back in 2014 of Asriel basically trying to talk to Scooter Braun, R. Kelly, and other people. So in this message, she says, I love you and your works. I've been trying to get with since I was 10 as a singer. I'm now 17. Dang, what a girl got to do. I can blow. And then um, she says, you 17. Oh, never knew. Then she replies to Scooter Braun and she says, did you know my birthday was December 30th and a guy like you could come along and change my life? Then she says, and this is her replying to R. Kelly on Twitter, at R. Kelly at Funk Fest concert, I got some small black panties at Orlando last night. Then she says, R. Kelly gave me some small black panties last night. So it looks like, you know, this girl and her family have been plotting on R. Kelly for a while now. I have one regret, and that was letting her go. My regret is buying those tickets and letting her go. 
because I feel like that's my fault. I take full responsibility and full action because as a mother, I am supposed to protect my child. But you know what? Everybody make mistakes. So I have to deal with the consequences of my action, but nobody can judge me, only God. I mean, the shit is about to hit the fan. Like I said, is R. Kelly innocent? Absolutely not. This man has done a lot of fuck shit, okay, from the damn 90s. But a lot of this new stuff is just mainly people trying to clout chase off of what he did in his past to now come up. All these girls had no problem being a part of R. Kelly's haram. Now that the money has stopped, the same girls who were, you know, having sex with each other and, you know, being R. Kelly's girlfriends and going on these hobo press tours are now beefing and fighting and everything else. And basically, Azriel has just turned on everyone, but she's not innocent in all of this either. So this entire situation is crazy. I want to kind of give you guys some context to that whole fight and everything else. There's more information getting ready to come. There's more information that's going to be coming out there's going to be a lot more details coming out there's going to be a lot more fuckery coming out at this point i don't buy anything that asriel and her father are saying they to me are looking for attention this entire situation is sad because again like i've always said with these people pulling these weirdo antics it's making it harder for the real victims of r kelly to get the justice that they need because there's so much foolishness going on that at this point people just are tuning out okay people are tired of this whole mess they're tired of this whole debacle we will talk about this more on my podcast the show is called tea time unfiltered with lovely tea i'm on google spotify apple Podcasts, all of the platforms we'll also be streaming on facebook twitch and all that stuff so we'll definitely be bringing you guys more information this week as everything comes together but i want to kind of give you guys a backstory on this whole fight situation and why there happened to be cameras in the hallway who caught the fight between joyce lynn and Azriel. All of this stuff was planned, and now, you know, basically the shit is hitting the fan. Asriel is just trying to throw everybody under the bus. That's why Joycelyn got really, really upset, because they were all supposed to be coming together to do a documentary on behalf of Kel. So, this entire situation is just getting messier and messier, honey. So, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning R. Kelly's girlfriends, going back and forth fighting and now it's being leaked that this whole thing was for a documentary that has now gone awry so let me know your thoughts make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the thumbs up last but not least don't forget to hit that notification bell so that we can be done with the notification squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces